Hey guys, what's going on? It's Simon here, and I'm on my own today. No James, and if you are a very keen RuneShark Minecraft fan, you may recognise this map. Now, two weeks ago, yes, two weeks, has been a little fail on our part. We sort of uh, showed you this little map. It's nothing special. It's just a bit of a, a play around map, nothing permanent. Um, oh god, oh god, he's coming for me. Hopefully they haven't got any new AI that makes them jump really far, but we should be good. Oh, he's smart. Oh, there's stairs. He's going to come around to get me. Holy shit, let's get him. Let's get him. All right, let's get him first, and then I'll explain. Let's get him. Let's get him. Let's go, go, go. Where is he? Shall I shoot him? I'm going to get him. Like a little ninja. Oh, all right, I've weakened him. Kill! Oh, shit, don't blow up my glass, please. Oh, I haven't got any more sand, I don't think. No, I've barely got no more sand. Right, anyway. Um, so we unveiled this map, uh, myself and James. I said it was going to be something that me and him would play on. And uh, we have seen a few comments like, why unveil the map when you don't play on it? Which is, uh, it's a valid point. It's a valid point. Um, it may have been a slight fail on our part. We've just been really busy. And uh, the idea of, uh, of playing something like this, a little let's play map for fun, is that we can talk about uh, various random stuff, such as what's going on. Uh, with myself and James, so I thought I've got some time this afternoon. I was uh, not necessarily bored, but I was just uh, wondering for something to do, and I thought, well, screw it, let's uh, let's play some Minecraft. And I figured I might as well record me doing it. Now I'm scouting out this area. I want to see what I can do with it. Um, if I go around, I can show you the uh, the bridge. Probably showed you this in our little uh, uh, starter episode. I just need to figure out a way to light this up, and whether I actually want this uh, this roof to like part our waterfall. It looks kind of cool. So this area is like. Uh, it's completely enclosed. Um, it's a bit away from the the main area with the bridge and everything looking cool. We're going to have a secondary bridge here. Um, we're just building for the sake of it. Continuing with the style of the alternating wood, which looks cool, but my god, it, it takes it takes a little bit of time. Let's put it that way. And it's not easy to build underneath um, the bridge, I'll tell you that much. It'd be a lot easier if this was a creative map, but uh, we, th we thought we might want to do a, a survival map just to... Uh, uh, have a little bit of fun. When I say survival map, I don't mean like survival adventure type map. I just mean playing old vanilla Minecraft for a little bit of fun. Uh, right, so it's night time. I should probably just whack the bed out. Not um, the most conventional sleep in place, but it'll work. What? Let me sleep. Don't set my spawn. Stupid game. Oh well. We're now going to spawn on a bridge. Actually, no, I won't because I'm going to destroy the bed. Uh, although I should really make a bedroom. I, don't, I haven't even made like a house. We have like a little bunker, I guess you could call that a house. I'm trying to figure out how to get to it. And this tunnel system is is quite vast, to, to say the least. So it can be quite confusing. I know that there is a tunnel, I think it's up here. Is it up here? Is it that one? I don't know. There's quite a few tunnels around here. Um, but yeah, it leads over to uh, our current little bunker. Screw it, let's, uh, let's drop down. That is a steep drop. Um, I need to actually like get some stone and uh, carve our way through. Oh, that's not very well lit up. This is probably part of the cave that James went round in, so it's not lit up very well. <laughs> that is one thing that I'm definitely more proficient at than James, is lighting up a cave. The amount of times I go through and it's like, alright, I want to make it so nothing can spawn. James is like, is there any diamonds? No, there's no diamonds. Let's go. Oh god, okay. We got zombies. Not too much of a problem. Because, actually, it could be a problem. I forgot about the new AI. Oh my god. Why did they change it, guys? Why? It was fine when we had just one zombie. Now, I'm lost. I don't know whether you're lost. I'm completely and utterly lost. All right, we, we're running through some caves. Ooh, we're running through some caves we haven't seen before. Oh well. Uh, things could be worse. Now, one thing I would really love to do is find some diamonds, speaking of them. Um, oh shit. Oh god. I've got some food, which is good. Some pig killer. Uh, so we can uh, make sure we're healing up. But some diamonds would be really nice because even though I've got a, a half dead iron axe here, that's probably about the seventh or eighth one I've been through because the excessive wood that we've needed so far has been ridiculous. Okay, looks like we're coming out somewhere. God damn it. That, that did not work out too well for us. We ended up here. That's not the side that I wanted to end up on. Mm, <laughs> I don't know what to do now. Okay, I can make my way around and we'll we'll go back up and try this again. I was trying to get out onto the main floor. Hey, screw it. If we, we can't get out, I'll just uh, I'll just build my little bunker here. I can build a little bunker. We can have a little workman's bunker. Although, can I get up and over this or is it too short? Damn it! You know what? 
fence post. You're gone. Um, I do have some spares, so it's all good. Not that, I don't know whether this is going to be permanent, because I don't like the way it drips through the roof, and then, even though you can't really notice when you're here, if you move back further enough, you can see that, because of the, the whole way water flows in Minecraft, there's actually like a, a half-gap block there, and we've tried to make an angled roof. It looks kind of weird. Um, I should, hopefully... No, I don't. I have none. Great. I was, I was hoping that I had some stone. Um, actual stone, not just cobblestone, because... Obviously, if I'm remodeling a cave, I want it to look like a cave, not a, a cobblestone cave. So, um, let's just get a furnace made. Um, and then we can move this all into a, perhaps a bunker of some sort. Oh, it feels good to be building again. Um, I'll just, damn it, I suck at this. Alright, let's uh, just do half a stack. That will give me some blocks to do. I'm going to suck at this as well. There we go. Alright, so that's cooking away. Oh, I can. Alright, where could I dig into to build my bunker? I've got this uh, nice glass front over there, then it goes down the steps onto that side. That's more of like a, a living space. It's looking pretty funky. I need to have a room of some kind. I think this wall, this wall is good. It's really weird though how it like, it just, it drops down here. I don't really like it, and that's why we need stuff like stone to fill it in. But, so, yeah, let's start digging in. Let's start digging. There's so many vines around here because it is the jungle biome. That is one thing that vines are awesome. They're cool, but they get in the way a little bit, just a little bit. So let's get rid of all of this. I should really get some secateurs. Are they secateurs? No, they're shears, aren't they? Meh. Same difference. They do the same thing. All right. Here we go. Uh. So even though there is coal here, I should mine it. Although, I'm going to have to fill it back in, which is a bit of a pain. It would be awesome to find some iron, but I'm pretty sure... I'm no uh, world-generating genius, but I'm pretty sure iron can't generate at this kind of um, level. Does it have to be below sea level to generate iron, or is it like within the first 16 blocks above sea level? I can't remember. Sea level, of course, is, I believe, 64. Unless, I don't know, a lot of things changed with Minecraft. When we went on holiday over the summer, myself and James, we had a pretty good holiday, not going to lie. Don't want to make you feel too jealous, but uh, it was pretty epic. And uh, we missed a lot of stuff, Minecraft stuff, because it was nearly seven weeks with no Minecraft, which to some people would be torture, but we, we managed just about... All right, ten stone is really not going to cut it. I need to step up production, don't I? Um, so if I wanted to actually fill this in, obviously I'd probably start... Right about the wall. We'll block it off. Um, I should probably get some dirt for there, shouldn't I? I got dirt. There we go. Two dirt. Perfect. I do have a full stack, though, if I need it. And we'll fill in. And now that's blocked. So, OCDness means I have to fill that in. Because most people will just leave it or fill it in with another material. But I know that there'd be cobblestone behind there. So, we're using stone. We're good like that. What I should really do is use more of the uh, the cobblestone to make more furnaces. And that would speed up production, but uh, yeah, we haven't really done much stone production yet. As you've seen, we've built a bridge. That's basically it. <laughs> James was like, oh, this is amazing. This bat, we've been working on it for ages. I'm like, we kind of have, but uh, yeah, we've built a bridge. With If you know our building, we're pretty slow. Like, take, the, take this for example. I've probably been going, what, nearly 10 minutes now? What have I built? A hole? A hole in the wall? But it's all good, guys. You know that how it works. Right. Uh, yeah, this is taking a little while. So, new furnace. Let's go. Uh, I should be able to make three out of that. Oh, no. I suck at that. Okay. And I love these new features they did add while we're away, though. Such as being able to drag items like that. That should have just been there from the start, though, let's be honest. And right, now we've got some furnaces. Uh, now we don't have the cobblestone. Natural. Yep, that seems uh, that seems to make sense. Um, so, if I grab some stone, I can build over like a temporary floor. Uh, Eleven should do it. Should do the trick. So, assuming that it's going to be around about oh, there we go, here-ish, um, and somewhere we'll reset it into this wall. I can now start digging. That'll give me some cobblestone, and then the whole process gets a bit quicker which is uh, obviously what you guys want to hear. So, let's get building. Let's get building. I want my own little dugout. Uh, how close to the... Where do I want my door? Will the door be recessed in itself? Yeah, probably. I don't know how far back I'd want it to be. 
Um, or whether I want it to be like a double door. A double door here could probably work. Two away. Yeah, screw it, we'll go for a double door. Iron, of course, because it's uh, indoors. Although saying that, I say iron, look at it. I look like I'm wearing some like grandad pants that are pulled up like to your fucking tits right here. Um, I am repping some uh, some pretty cool clothes though, not going to lie. In my cookie monster suit. Well, not a suit, I am the cookie monster. Honest. Um, right, let's take some more stone. Um, we'll get rid of that. Although I'm just destroying my pickaxe for no reason, but it's it's all worth it, I promise. Alright, so we'll get some uh, some pressure pads. We can always get them in place already, can't we? Um, I think... There we go, it is that. God damn, that is such an inefficient use of stone. Two full blocks to get, like, maybe an eighth of a block of stone? Like, what the fuck happened to my stone? <laughs> Where did it go, god damn it? And I'm pretty sure I'm going to need... I'm not going to have enough. Great. Um, this was a failure. I need one more. I've got five more. Alright. We're going to need four. And now we're going to need space. Sorry, string. Not string. Seeds. String can come back because I want the string. Uh, Alright. Want some pressure plates. They'll blend in pretty good with the floor. You won't really know they're there. That's all good. Now, doors are really weird like this, aren't they? You can't have, like... You'd think you'd have pressure plate, pressure plate, and then on the other side of the doors, but because doors, like, in theory, take up a block, but then they don't look like they take up a block, they have to be a block away. I'm probably sounding like a nutcase right now, but uh, I'm pretty sure I'm right. I'm trying to think where... What orientation I want my doors to be in. What a weird thing to think. I'm not going to place these down, shit, there's no point. We need to find the iron, so... And I want to find diamond, because having a diamond... Well, pickaxe for the stone would be good, um... An axe for the extra wood would be epic. Now, <laughs> this cave leads nowhere. Good work, Simon. I was hoping to find a cave that led somewhere. Uh, so I've got to find another cave. we got to find a cave. This just isn't working out well, is it? I'm trying to find a place to build a bunker, and I've ended up going cave hunting. Jump! Oh, yes. No fall damage. Like a boss. Uh, I can't see this working. Oh, no, it did just about. Things like came out this side of the cave. So, uh, and it's going up. This is like an upwards cave. This is no good. There is coal there, but me wants to go down. I want to get more stuff. It really does look like we've explored this as well, isn't it? Maybe I just explored it, because, let's be honest, I, I'm going around in circles, because I have no idea where I'm going. Uh, anywhere that looks dark and scary? No, but this place does look down, so... Come on. You know you want to fall into, like, a, a cavern. Ooh, we got some dark. That's good. That goes up and dark, which mm, up and dark's not good, but it it means that there could be nasties dropping on my head, <laughs> which sounds weird to say, but nobody wants a peeny bee on their head. Let's be honest, people. Oh shit! Is it getting dark already? I only just slept it off. Uh, okay. Okay, so th this hasn't worked. I'm I'm outside and it's at a high elevation. Although that said, this isn't too bad. That works. Uh, I need some twigs. I say twigs. I mean sticks. I've got plenty of coal, but uh, I'll get some sticks. And voila! All right, torches. Now we can go in here. Let's see. Oh, really? Really? Like the most grand cave opening ever? Some ginormous cave opening for for that? Now that is that's a troll. Come on. Guys at, guys at uh, Mojang here, you need to sort that out. Less trolley cave openings. I think that should be in the patch notes. I want to see that. It will save me some hassle. Okay, so we're not going up. We're going down. I hope that went down. It didn't go down. Right, this looks like it might go down. Other way, like, people are actually like, why don't you just dig and find these materials? It's like, have you not played Minecraft? Do you not understand what we're supposed to be doing here? And this led me out here. Okay. This sucks. Alright, let's find a cave. <laughs> we're going to find one. We're going to find a hole somewhere in the ground, and we're going to go for it. It is currently dark out, though, so I should probably take a bed somewhere. Um, oh, God. 
Oh, that's a fully golden... Is that a skeleton or a zombie? It's got enchantments! I have no enchantments! How is this fair? It should be, like, balanced on how good I am. I currently suck right now. I've got iron legs and boots. That guy is pimped to the max. What the fuck? Alright, oh god. Where's that coming from? I'm definitely more wary of the zombies now. They used to be so tame. Oh, we got some sheep. We got some sheep action. There's some snow in the distance. That means tiger biomes, I'm not going to lie, they usually are pretty good for caves. Especially caverns. Uh, oh, I see some stone. He sees some stone. Oh, ho, ho, hello. Bonus. Okay, so this looks good. This looks good. That was pretty much the uh, the best cave opening. See, like, this isn't even... That wasn't obvious. It wasn't, like, massive. It wasn't trying to entice me in, but uh, the rewards were, were good. They were good. Um, one gunpowder. See you later. And we'll get the iron over here. I, think, I swear I could have literally just come in here, mined up the first iron veins I've seen, these ones, and I would have been done. Rather than run around an entire cave system twice, not find anything, and uh, and not get anything built. God damn it, Simon. I've not even got doors. I, th I, f I almost feel obliged just to try and make doors here, but I know that's that's silly. We should go delve deeper. All right, 18 iron ore. That's, that's pretty sweet. That'll complete my iron set. <laughs> We've got even more now. See, there we go. I'm not wrong. As soon as you go under sea level, iron shits itself everywhere. It's just like, where do I need iron? Because it's uh, everywhere. You just, you don't, you never need to like mine for it again. You go on one or two cave raids, you've got like 600. It's all good. Okay. No, 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 no. I saw that. I gotta be proper cautious. Cause I think I'm, I'm, I think this is all set up on. I don't think it's quite hard mode, but. It's, Definitely, it's definitely harder when you've only got iron and you're used to having a lot more. All right, yeah, this is this is a bad idea. I should just get that bed out right now and and play it safe. Play it smart. Oh shit! Ow! Because they never miss ever. That's why you play it safe. Fucking skeletons. At least you can't get witches unless we're in a swamp. My god, too many. Uh, sort of uh, hostile maps, those kind of things, like our CTM maps, and yeah, you uh, you learn to fear those kind of NPCs, not gonna lie, you uh, you fear them pretty quick. Okay, so, we'll block this off, this is the, oh, okay, no, I need to actually manually, duh, I don't want to block it off with something that isn't like natural looking, I want to ruin the cave with a bit of wood somewhere, making me think it's some kind of elaborate scheme with a um, what are they called? Abandoned mine shafting. Okay, we've got some iron in the roof, we've got some bones. Alright, now it's daytime, I can actually sort of go around a bit more freely without worrying too much about mobs just... Especially when you're at the entrance of the cave, that's the worst. Like, when you're delving into a cave, you expect mobs, but it's when you're at the entrance, you think you're all safe, and it's actually when it's night time, that's when the mobs just, like, they just sneak in from outside, and, uh catch you off guard. I still don't understand how I, I have such a problem with mobs, considering like you do all these maps where like 50,000 of them spawn, but uh, yeah, and <laughs> 50,000 spawn and you don't die, yeah, I could probably go up against a couple of PNBs here and uh, lose all of this stuff, so right, we'll just have to see. Anyway, um, yeah, I did say we were going to try and keep this series a little bit more casual and uh, bring up random personal stuff. So one thing I did want to bring up today was a little bit random, uh, but it was just because it was on my mind today. Um, I had a couple of deliveries for some PC goodness. Um, if you saw, if you, if you follow us on Facebook, you might have seen that I know James had uh, had to have his PC sort of fixed, or I say had to have it fixed. I fixed it for him. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so he had his PC repaired. That was pretty fun to do. Uh, even though it's like a repair, obviously it's never fun to have something go wrong. But I enjoy like random PC stuff, and uh, it was fun sort of having to dismantle his and my PC because I had to use my power supply to test what was wrong with his. And uh, yeah, just put them back together, and it was a bit of fun. So I figured I wanted to do it again, and I have bought a few little components uh, to upgrade my current machine. 
Um, now, it kind of sounds silly because I'm upgrading my current machine despite the fact that I'm going to be buying a brand new machine. Um, pretty, well, I say pretty soon, in a few months' time, or a couple of months' time. But uh, I kind of, I'm kind of i going to be running like two systems because obviously when I record these videos like this, uh, I also need to render them. But if I'm rendering a video, I can't really do a lot else. Uh, I can't, say, play more Minecraft because um, it would be really laggy and things like that. So it's nice to have a machine that I can effectively render on which is going to be this machine, and then uh, a machine that I can game on. So that should be uh, pretty awesome. And also, by having um, a better machine, it will mean I can do stuff like live streaming, which of Minecraft I wasn't really able to do, because my PC at the minute, it's not the best. I mean, it's four years old. So, uh, I mean, it's done pretty commendable stuff. you got to remember it's, uh, it's rendered and produced over 2,000 videos, so not bad, not bad, but uh, it's time to move on. And yeah, so I'm Giving it a bit of love, giving it a bit of a, an upgrade, and uh, yeah, I got a couple of things in the mail today. I got a new graphics card, uh, which I'm I'm really excited to put in, but I can't because I didn't realise at the time of purchase. But like, I have a DisplayPort cable, uh, which like for anyone that knows their cables will know what it is. If you don't, when you plug in like a monitor, it will plug in. You have like either a blue one, which is VGA, uh, a white one, which is DVI, or you can get, well, I guess DisplayPort doesn't really have a colour, but mine's black. Um, it's uh, sort of like a HDMI, slightly different in uh, in shape, but uh, the problem was it needs a mini DisplayPort adapter, and I don't have that, so it's kind of like a troll, because I was like, oh, we're going to be getting some new graphics. What the fuck is a sheep doing in here? I don't even know where he came from. But uh, yeah, I thought I was getting new graphics. I wasn't. So even though, other way, like I've I bought a pretty beast mode graphics card, but uh, I'm playing Minecraft, which I know people say is like, yeah, you, there's, there's no point in buying a, a crazily good like graphics card to play a game like Minecraft because it's not very graphically intensive. But I swear down, like it just is. <laughs> like the amount of times that I lag in Minecraft due to like my computer hardware not being good enough, and it should be good enough. But I think uh, I recently played on the one of the beta. Uh, snapshots that had the new amplified maps. I don't know whether you heard of them. Um, so, if you are proficient with creating worlds frequently, you would have noticed that obviously, well, it wasn't even that recently, they added the um, large biomes map um, that you can create. So, you can choose just to create like super flat where it's a flat world. You can create your normal stuff, um, basically, like I'm playing it. Oh god, I've, I've summoned a zombie army. Oh shit. Oh my god. And, uh, yes, you can create those biomes, and they've made a new one called Amplified, and uh, Amplified's just, like, super intense, because instead of just being large biomes, it's instead, like, where you'd have typically a hill in another biome, um, now you have a mountain. And when I say mountain, I mean, like, great fuck-off giant-ass mountain. Um, it, that's the technical term, obviously, the great fuck-off giant-ass mountain, for anyone that was... Uh, Wondering on that one. I was just uh, just clarifying that. I think is it got to night time again? Okay, okay. If uh, yeah, I think um, three sleeps and uh, that means that you've gone over your allotted episode length, Simon. Uh, well, okay, it's not night time. Either way, uh, I probably have been ranting for for too long. Uh, apologies for that. Uh, I know some guys like the longer kind of episodes, and again because this is more of a, a casual. Um, chat, or oh, not really a chat because it's only one way, it's me just talking to myself, which uh, <laughs> may seem weird to some, but regardless, um, I hope you guys enjoyed it at least, I guess it was good just to have a bit of an update on the fact uh, what we're doing on this map, so me and, me and James have just been playing it in our spare time when we're bored, and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's good fun to do. We're waiting of course to start our Rune Sharks Minecraft Adventure Season 2, where we'll do some crazy creative stuff, this is kind of just a warm up to that, and uh, we're waiting for the Minecraft 1.7, because when you get new biomes, it is very frustrating to have to uh, go into like MC Edit, World Edit, and stuff like that, and take all your current buildings and current areas and transplant them into a new world because they generate very differently um, with the different biomes. And there's some pretty cool biomes coming in, not gonna lie. So looking forward to that. They recently added um, stained glass to the latest snapshot, so in 1.7 as well, we should see that. And again, those kind of things just really help with builds. Having stuff like the uh, coloured clay and everything is gonna make builds, I don't know, a bit more flexible for us. We're gonna have to do more uh, creative things, which is obviously the aim of a series like this. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, 
Um, again, sorry if I rumble for a little bit too long, but you know me. That's what I do. So uh, if you enjoyed, please give a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy, thumbs down, whatever, doesn't matter. And uh, have some fun in the comments, so guys. I'll see you next time.